Ladies and gentlemen, if you did not know, it's time! Welcome to the Glitzy Hot Podcast. Well, guys, it's good to have you back. We have once again Mikey, and we're going to be talking about some mainstream topics. So let's get this hive buzzing. Talk reckless. So buttery, put it in the pan, let it sizzle. Cook up, watch it come back official. Dish it out, let it eat it up till it's nothing left. Respect the top chef. It's so buttery, put it in the pan, let it sizzle. Cook up, watch it come back official. Mikey. Dish it out, let it eat it up. Today, till it's left. I blew Respect a big, deep chef. sigh of relief. <sighs> Wanna know why? Because check this out. Harrison Ford, Han Solo. Any and Jones almost got into a plane incident. See, the thing is, he narrowly avoids crashing into a passenger plane. And if you see the video, if you haven't, please do. All you gotta do on YouTube is just type in Harrison Ford almost got into an incident, and it will take you there. And you see it. At first, it took a couple tries for me to view that. And just imagine artists in general that we love, that are beloved, are just dead now. Just imagine Michael Jackson, Prince, Purple Rain, Purple Rain, gone, man. And, and it hurts. And that's the last thing I want. I mean, I don't care about some certain celebrities or some actors that I, I wouldn't cry about. But come on, he's freaking Han Solo. And my thing is that he's at this back incident where he actually crashed. He had to literally do an emergency stop at a golf course. But if you see the pictures, you see the plane, how much it's ruined. And thank God he's alive. And the last incident that occurred, he dislocated his right ankle, broke his back, and a major pump into his head with major lacerations. Mikey, I'm just thinking, is this man, Han Solo, first of all, a little too old to, to be flying planes? But first, let's go down the history of... Mr. Han Solo. I mean, he's an iconic figure. That's why I get riled up about these things. I want to make sure that the people know. I mean, maybe some newborns are here and don't know who the hell is Han Solo. And what are you talking about? Why are you just caring so much about this actor? Let's first take it back, okay? Alright? Let's first take it back a little bit. And go down on the... Let's see, memory lane. And the thing about about it is that Han Solo is an iconic figure because he was a badass. Not only did he get Carrie Fisher, young Carrie Fisher, bon appetit, it's so good. But let's mention too that he was such a badass that he shot first. See, all the movies that recently came out, I guess the special editions of episode 4, 5, 6. And more specifically on episode 4, A New Hope, where he, at the bar, this is kind of like maybe 10 minutes into it, and actually Greedo, the alien looking thing, sits down and, and you're literally reading the subtitles, because I don't know alien, alright? And if you think Spanish is alien, <laughs> no. So, so the thing is, they sit down and basically have this conversation about who, sh who shot first. And obviously, we know in the original trilogy, he shoots first. Long story short, not to drag this on, is that he shot first, but the new additions made it seem like... Like he shot first, Greedo shot first. And then there was another one where they shoot at the same time. But in the narrative context of a film, if he doesn't shoot first or they're shooting at the same time... You gotta think about this. He was a badass. He was basically a criminal. 
So why would you do that? Yes, but he was a smuggler. He was a dealer. Yeah. Be before that, you know, he mm -hmm. was a scoundrel. He's considered a scoundrel, you know, type yeah. deal. Like in placements of where he at is at in the Star Wars uh, categories, yeah. you know, or genres of different people. There are there are all kinds of different people in, in Star Wars. But uh, either way, Han Solo, Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Mr. Harrison Ford. <laughs> that's his real name. Don't call him Han Solo because he's pull. Flip that, you off. That yeah, that character, man, it's great. You know, he's uh he's 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 a badass motherfucker. So he can do. He could have shot first or second, no matter what. You know. But it's it um, makes it because he's such a badass. He, yeah, you got shot true, shoot you need, first. You needed a, you, you, uh, you needed that that one type guy that can be both. You know the you know there's always that one person that can be both good and bad. You know bad in good ways. You know but uh but it's all you know it all points in good directions because yeah. they always end up being a good person at heart i suppose he was you know i mean he, you know i i'm pretty sure he was over i've heard a lot of stories where he was over being han solo you know mm -hmm. harrison ford he's over being over being han but solo, that, i think so that's his attitude he's kind of had like that, that attitude but, i've seen yeah, interviews he, he seems kind of like a stern guy he yeah, doesn't joke that him, much yeah. and he seems like what what do you mean right. i've Chuck seen his interviews type deal <laughs> yeah he's just cool but, but no, he's, he's not as crazy with that being said about Harrison Ford and the iconic impact he's had in the world, now that your kids are all up to date on why he's such a major iconic figure, that concludes the glitzy engine, engine, memory lane. Nine. So I want to go back into if my original question and what I had originally. Is do you think Harrison Ford, who's by the way 74 years old, do you think he should be still flying a plane? And my opinion is, my deep opinion about this is that I think he shouldn't be flying a plane at all. I think his time has passed after this incident. Thank God nothing happened, but you sh you shouldn't be risking your life. You shouldn't be committing some mistakes if. You're supposed to know what you're doing. And after these two incidents, I think, and I most certainly believe, I believe actually that he doesn't know how to 100% fly a plane. Let's remind you the first incident where he literally got hurt. Dislocated right ankle, shattered pelvis, broken back. A major bump into the head with major lacerations? That's a big deal. That's not something to be like, Alright, you know what? It wasn't nothing. It's just a scratch. It's, it's a scratch. No. That's not what happened. What happened was he's now endangering other people's lives. So Harrison Ford, take your ass to the passenger seat. Let a professional do what they do best, flying a plane, and just enjoy the fucking views. You already have enough money as it is. Why do you just want to look for a thrill, and then that thrill becomes the end of you? That's not the way you want to go. I want you to live, and I want you to still keep making movies. So, don't fly in planes, just fucking enjoy the views. Take your old ass, you probably don't even know what's happening to be honest. A 74 year old, your senses drop, you're not as accurate, you don't have a sense of urgency as a young one or someone that is much more equipped to see what's happening. A professional, you sir got preferential treatment because you are a celebrity and at the end of the day, Han Solo. Harrison Ford, no more. No more of this. And they're doing an investigation, and I think that your ass should be disqualified from flying planes. Hey, you tried it, and you gave it a shot, and at least you lived to tell about it, and you have something you talk about at a cocktail party. So with that being said, Mikey, what do you think? Do you think Harrison Ford should be still flying a plane? And do you think he's too old for this? Yeah, well, I, you know, I think regardless if, uh, if he is, uh, cap you know, they should investigate it. If he was in the wrong, he needs to get suspended, just like any other citizen would mm -hmm. in this world that, you know, he doesn't need to get played any favorites. Like, uh, 
But I mean, like, if it wasn't that harsh of harsh of a deal, then you know, like, you know, we'll, we'll see. He might get fined, yeah. or he might not, or slap on the wrist type deal. You never know, man. Like, he's got money, so he can definitely pay for lawyers to get him. But uh, yeah, I probably do more illegal in, stuff. I was he's a not in jail lawyer. right now, though. Right? He's not in jail or yeah. anything. He wasn't drunk or anything. The only thing was like maybe he's a little too old. That's what I thought. I was like he's maybe just, he's a little too old. He's just Harrison Ford, man. He's just he's. He's Harrison Ford, man. But, okay, but that's the thing. What if he got special preference? Let's say, for example, me, JJ, wants to go <laughs> and, and apply and learn how to drive a plane. Okay, cool. Let's do it. But who's going to take a preference, Han Solo or me? Who's going to just maybe excel yeah. a little faster because he's Han Solo, a famous guy. Oh, man, let me take a picture. You know, and you see him every day, or at least for what, three weeks, to whatever the class of course is to learn how to draw, drive the little plane and everything. I think all in all, I mean, it, even with this crash, you know, look at him now. He's still, you know, with this, with this last escape, last crash. That's with this yeah. emergency escape. You know, you say it even in that, you know, with uh, in Nebraska, in Nebraska. Mm. That's uh, that's interesting. You know, like uh, he's a tough dude, man. Um, he might get. He may, he may be getting up there in age, but uh, he's like my biological, my second biological dad. Her, only time will tell, yeah. and if he's, yeah. you know, if he's not able, the best for this not, guy. If he's not able to, yeah. uh, to to get his license, if he gets revoked or whatever, it's like it, it was a good time. Harrison Ford, yeah, yeah. Man, he's gonna be like, okay, <laughs> um, take me here. <laughs> Dude, next, he's just. Next, I feel yeah. like I'm I would sure do he, whatever he told sure. me. He's so. got. He's got good money. Like I'm sure he's gonna. Yeah, I mean he's on solo. Like, like stick with. <laughs> he's on solo. Yeah, I, he's, gonna, he's making money off that for the rest of his life. People, he should get paid for every time. You know, let alone it, it, I would be. You know, I would be owing him shitload of money. From mm-hmm. playing, from playing beer pong, saying Han Solo, that Han was Solo. my shit. I would always say Han I was like, Solo. Hey, you know, put it into it the, was, the, be- you know, the jar. People say Island, or people say you yeah. know uh, Solo Cup, you know, whatever. People say all kinds of different. Red shit. Solo like, Cop. Yeah, I, Red Han I Solo say, Cop. I always say Han Solo. Like, <laughs> yeah. Han Solo. Yeah. He's like, dude, don't, don't mention him. I don't. It's like, imagine someone. I don't know if he gets tired of Star Wars. That's what I'm. I'm kind of thinking about that. I know we're going to a te- Harrison Ford tangent, but this is this is breaking down soul of Mr. Han Solo here. Like, I wonder if he get tired about talking about Star Wars. I'm sure he does. It's like, would you get tired about talking about, uh, I mean, whatever, like, the same story that everyone's heard over and over again? Depending on how how, how I'm impacting that was. It's like, uh, yeah. Human, like, you know, or it's like a boring thing. Well, for example, I'll give you, I, I guess, a, an example here. Maybe this is good. It's like, I'm short, so I'm 5'4", right? So a lot of people are like, hey, you're short, huh? Oh, you can't reach this because you're small type of thing. But I'm like, all right, whatever. Mo-. Like, yeah, okay, I'm Captain Obvious. I can't do man. nothing like that. <laughs> that work. Yeah. We used to work together. Like, yeah. I, can, I mean, I wish I was Kevin Durant. I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, big, tall guy and stuff. Like, what's up, man? Give me some 15-size Nikes, some 15-size pants right there. But no, no. It is, it is what it is, man. We're all good. Either way, he might be tired of talking about Star Wars and mentioning the same story and over again. But the moral of this story is that just don't fly any planes. We want you alive. And, and uh, when it comes down to it, you have enough money to do other activities like golf, go shoot some guns, go horseback riding, go swimming. There's no endless opportunities. Just like Harrison Ford who almost hit the plane, but he missed it, luckily. One thing we did not miss this season here in California was the rain. In the past years, here in California, we actually have had a big drought where I personally thought this was the end of it for California because this last past summer, let me tell you something, it was 120 degrees. And one thing I know for certain is that I was not gonna stay in my house because it was a living, breathing fucking oven. Like Mikey. I was working with you. I was looking forward to the rain. I actually missed the rain because there's something we don't get here. We actually get more sun, heat than everything. I get it. I shouldn't be complaining. But when it's 120 degrees, God damn it, there comes a time when you miss the rain, when you miss the cloudiness, when you just want to brush up with someone else and just watch Netflix. But the last thing you want to do that is when it's fucking hot. And even the governor 
put in state of emergency because of the drought. They made it clear to conserve your water and make sure that you use it wisely. By this, I thought, this is the apocalypse. This is the it for California. How the hell are we going to survive now if this is a state of emergency? And I thought we were doomed because the newscaster predicted there was going to be El Nino and we didn't get El Nino. We got El Nino nothing. If anything, it rained just sprinkles for just one hour. And after that, that was the rain for 2016. But now fast forward to 2017. This last couple months, December, January, now we're in February, baby. It actually has rained a lot. And I'm surprised. I give you credit. The newscasters made it seem that Last year was the only year where we're supposed to quote-unquote have this supposed El Nino. But now we're seeing the effects. And finally, the results. Me and Mikey always go went back and forth about the weather. I was like, where is the rain? It is 98 degrees. What are you talking about? Where are you getting this news from? It's this conspiracy. The government wants us to believe that it's gonna rain, but one thing they can't hide is the weather that's being presented to us on our clear eyes and our senses. But Mikey, I was proven wrong. You know what? I am sorry for underestimating Mother Nature herself. Now that it's clear in 2017, this winter has been a fruitful winter. And Mother Nature has pissed on me with her natural resources and actually has made a statement to me and it said boy 2016 the newscasters got it all wrong actually it was 2017 where we're gonna get this rain so now taste taste my natural resources my pissy pissy natural resources and take it all in so Mikey, now that I've been proven wrong and we actually got El Nino this season, what is your overall observation now that I am proven wrong? And by the way, I am happily to admit this because I want to be challenged. And I, when someone challenges me, I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. Not like a lot of individuals, they always want to be right even though there are most clearly in the wrong. They were only talking about it a year prior to that. Mm -hmm. They were like saying like, look at, you know, look at the effects versus now, you mm -hmm. know. And, um, and that prolonged, you know, that prolonged for a good amount of time, you yeah. know, like the rains and everything. Uh, uh, but, the, you know, that we go through these, you know, I've talked to people that are older than me um, and they say, that we go through these cycles all the time the, with the rain and mm -hmm. drought. Rain, so it changes yeah. daily and something like that. But I, the funny thing, because I knew I was like, oh, well, it didn't rain. It didn't rain at all. So, for example, I was like, well, they were wrong. So now then, like, this season starts raining. And I'm like, well, it kind of, there's a connection. Maybe they were sort of right, but they were just off from one year. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, well, it's... It's, you know, I told you too, man. But I, we used to get right. into, like, maybe just playful arguments. Yeah. We're like, exactly. okay, where's the rain? It's, like, and 80 I, degrees here. Like, look, you're right, man, this year. But I was like, watch. Uh, I was like, there's also a, a chance for next year as well, you know. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, man, there's, like, and I and I was, you know, at that too, I was, you know, I was thinking, man, it's, that would be really cool if it does actually start raining this year and it's it's definitely raining do you year, like you know? the rain some people i mean obviously we I live in california rain. so me, i get you know i get frustrated with people when they you know they're 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 in the summertime they're like oh man it's freaking hot oh they want to complain all the time and then they switch up to when it's cold uh, then they switch up to when it's cold it's like oh my God, it's, it's so cold summer oh, you know it's i just kind of i i for one i'm i'm i, I love spring mm -hmm. i'm a spring baby 
So I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of spring. I love how it feels outside. I love, you know, just everything, how everybody feels. How it's, it's just the good vibes. It's in between. Um, it's not too hot. It's not too cold. Yeah. It's just in the right. Sometimes you get those little winds going on. Or sometimes it's just a nice sunny day. That's yeah. pretty nice right there. Exactly. You can't go wrong. Not yeah. too hot, not too cold. In Those between. Blue skies. Uh, then, then it goes winter. Mm -hmm. I love winter, man. I love being cold. You know, it sucks being cold, but I love, you know, I love the, the feeling of wanting to uh, be warm with somebody, you know, cuddle. Bundle up. Yeah, bundle up. That's Rainy what you day, just, you yeah. Know, cold, raining days, you know. You just hang out, watch movies, you know. Have those lazy Chill days. Out. That's that's yeah. mellow, mellow out. That's the best time. Watch man. a movie, maybe catch up on some Netflix, whatever your preference is. Yep. Like me, Narcos. Yeah. <laughs> then I like fall the next, you know, it's it's another yeah. it's like a it's the leaves it's counter. It's, it's definitely it's counter type. Of spring, yeah. you know, like uh, uh it's cool. Uh, I, I love it how it's you know, it's it's fine it's the narrowing down of the heat. And you're getting ready for the preparation of the cold, you know. Mm -hmm. Rain comes here once in a while, you know. But it's cool, man. It's, um, it, uh, you know, getting older. I've, you know, I'm, you know, and I've really paid attention. That's why I've always I was telling you I was, you know, uh, confident, you know, confident enough to tell you that there's going to be still an El Nino, you know, because I've been, you know, I watch over climates and I watch over, you know, how things have going, you know. Like and it's weird how, you know. It's 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 cool though, man, and I'm, I believe in the climate change for sure. Like, so we're trying to learn that, I, yeah. I feel you know like I, I you know like how I showed you my buckets of water. I try to I try to save. I do my best to do my part. You know, you saw me right now. I was walking around trying to click off some lights. You know, mm -hmm. you need them all on. Yeah, know? and um, it saves money too if definitely. you're not using it. <laughs> and then and then there comes summer. You know, for me, I like summer. When I'm near a pool all the time, or I'm near mm. the beach, you know. But out here, I think I just don't like summer because I've grown up, uh, you know, for most of my, you know, um, older, you know, my life is uh, was out here in the IE, and it's hot as hell in the IE. You know, in LA, it's always oh, yes. like, it's always ten to fifteen degrees cooler, uh, you know, in LA. Especially in the summers. Here. My brother lives in um, Santa Monica right now. Mm -hmm. And so he's always been by the beach the last two years because yeah. now he's going to school yeah. over there. Yeah, that's why and, it's like And that. he's like, he's living the life. Yeah. So when he comes back and it's, it's like 100 degrees or 98, he's like, yeah. my God, it's <laughs> so hot. So it's going to get more rain. I, I'm loving the fact that I don't have to water my yard. <laughs> yeah. Mother Nature does it for me. And uh, I'm just going to, the only thing that I have to do now is uh, let me just cut the grass every Sunday. But hey. Hey, I don't have a grass to worry hey. about, so I'm good. You have plants there, I and I wish plants, I owned a plant. Like I said, I'd be keeping the rainwater, and I, I just dunk. I have a little um, pitcher, and I just kind of dunk it, and just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And I, I, I fill up each pot that I have, and they're succulents at that, too, most of them, so they don't really need much water. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a, a cactus, yeah. right? Yeah. I always wanted to, uh, to just own a cactus. That's going to be, like, my thing. Sure. Yeah. Maybe not a cactus, maybe a succulent. To, to Something. Start practice off of. But cactuses yeah. are hard to take care of, man, because you're always going to get poked for sure. Like, all these cuts on me mm -hmm. have come. That, you know, cactus? People have asked me, you know, that's a V. Did you do that on purpose because you're last day or whatever? Yeah. I'm like, no, that's just, that's just from yard work. Like, I've constantly gotten cut up um, from doing yard work. But, you know, I'm not complaining, though. I love, I love yard work, man. It's weird, you know. It's just like my inner Hispanic in me. I believe it's just universal, but. Overall, I am happy that we're finally getting rain and then now you can just put your fist in the air and just rejoice at the fact that we're getting El Nino and just Mother Earth is getting all the water it needs specifically here in California. Now we're coming to the end of the podcast. Mikey, finish us off with one of your songs. One of the songs he's going to be performing today, it's called Good Day. And with that being said, it was a good day hanging out with you, Mikey, just talking and getting to know you even more. And I've worked with you, but nothing is like doing a podcast and getting together and sharing these particular vibes. And it was an awesome time. And I really appreciate you just coming forward and just being open as usual and bringing nothing but the best. But with that being said, I'm going to put down on the link where to find him and lead us off with one of your new original songs. And let me tell you what's the name of the song once again. It's called Good Day. And I hope you had a good day as well. 
doing whatever you do best, looking fly and staying super fly. Slung coming down my face Looking at those pretty Pretty girls walking by my face Oh yeah, I'm Feeling good today Oh yes, I'm Oh yeah, I'm Gonna bring something back my way Feeling like it's a good beginning a Beginning Beginning. I don't know if I should, but I feel silly thinking of the day when I had a bad day. I think, why did I ever feel that way? But I know that I've got today because it's a good day, good day, good day. I'm gonna enjoy this time by myself. Walking down my street by myself I'm going, I'm going To enjoy this day Well I guess it's just one of those days been putting yeah, and the attention towards because I'm always in a rush and I'm going to do everything that I need to to have a good day good day good day I'm gonna have a good day on my way just gotta wake up Cell. Feels like I'm on a energy drink, drinking it down like it's just a glass of water with a lemon or something else on it. I'm gonna enjoy this day, no matter if the sun is out or okay, gay. Gonna have a good day, good day. Good day, good day. Keep in your mind that you have to keep a real mind for ten of you because then you're gonna have to take um, a break some day and you're gonna think of something that you should have done it right back in your feet. But you know that you. Are gonna have a good day, good day, good day. You're gonna have a good day on your way. Oh, oh, you just gotta wake up on your bed and tell yourself, I'm gonna wake up on the side, not the other cell. I'm gonna enjoy my day, enjoy my day. I'm gonna enjoy my day. Have a good day, have a, have a good day I'm gonna tell you that you always can have a good day
Damn, hey, that was a really good one. That was a new ad song. Good day. Good day, <laughs> hey. It says it right nice there. Simple. In the title right there. Speaking well, of all the days of the years, man, you know, try to make the best of it. You know, I always try to be optimistic in life, you know, even when things seem tough, you know, like, or whatnot, you know, like, I just try to stay optimistic, man. You gotta, that's the way you gotta keep on moving. You gotta Definitely. think positive. And uh, just keep pushing forward because at the end Finding of the day... Finding good energy, doing your best to find that in You're going to get what you want right life. there. Life's always going to throw you those yeah. piece of crap days, you know, yeah. but you got to... It's stair steps, bro. It's stair best. steps. You yeah. just got to keep going. And once you're there, you're like, you know what? <laughs> I feel better. I'm a better spot than I was over down over yeah. there. So that's it. just look at it. Steps. Definitely. Steps. Check steps. <laughs> but with that being said, I hope you had a good day as well, too. And thank you for listening to the Glitzy Hive. Uh, we're going to see you next week. All right, so keep your eyes set up, and I'll see you to the next one.